All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to look at a way to create a rendered perspective section. Uh, rendered perspective sections are, are pretty popular uh, to kind of show the depth of a space uh, and also to just kind of give a kind of characteristic and a feeling of light and shadow within. Uh, so I've modeled this this funky building. It's done in five minutes. Some of it's pretty shoddy. The roof is coming out the back here, but that's okay. It's going to work for our purposes. Um, I've got a sun already in. I've set up my VRI camera. Basically, my only materials are the default gray, a dark gray for the ground, and glass for the windows here, 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 and here. <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to need to do is actually take a section. Uh, so I know that I want to kind of cut through the front portion here so that I, I'm moving through uh, the front of the building. Uh, so to do that, I want to just draw a plane by typing plane and then selecting a vertical plane. Uh, so I'll drag it from off the scene all the way through, uh, all the way through the ground. Also, and that's important. And then I can see how tall I need to make my plane. I can make it, you know, much much larger uh, than it needs to be because we're just using it to cut away portions of the building. So I can zoom in and see, you know, is that far enough in? Do I need to pull it a little back? I can go ahead and just move it back a little bit this way, see see a little bit more of the space. Uh, and I can also rotate it, so like I don't want to cut through this little wing of a wall here. I want to cut through that curvy portion. Uh, so from outside, I can just rotate it and say, all right, we're just going to rotate that clipping plane back there. Uh, yeah, so there we go. Uh, I can have you know the front portion of the building and the rear portion. Um, and I can trim to that plane. So I'll get rid of all the detailed stuff, which is the front of the building. Um, some of it you'll see won't actually trim. Uh, you might be wondering why, and that's because that portion doesn't touch the plane at all. So for this stuff here, I can just delete it. Um, it's always a good idea to maybe hide it instead of delete it. That way you could always use it in the future. I have some of my construction geometry. It doesn't really matter. Get rid of everything. I uh, should be able to trim this ground plane also. Um, all right, and then instead of deleting this clipping or the, the section plane, I'll just hide it. So now we can look at what I've taken a section of and it's uh, you know just this weird blobbish form with a couple walls coming out and some glass back there. Um, the ground plane is completely flat right now and I'm not gonna like that so I'm gonna extrude that just so it has some depth so it's it's sitting on something. That, that'll work for me and right now there's two things the, the surface and the poly surface um, so I'm gonna want to delete the surface uh, and then uh, I know that I'll also want to just apply this secondary darker material to that. Don't worry about that. So there we go, there we have it. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is just do a quick small test render. Great, I see the shadow, I see light and dark, everything looks good. Uh, I'm going to find a view that I want to take the section at. Maybe something skewed right there. I'm going to set that view by going to right clicking perspective, set view, named view, and call it uh, render one. Say OK. Uh, I'm going to then go into my V-Ray options and increase the size of this. I've already locked my aspect ratio, but I'll make it a little bit bigger rendering and I'll let it render. <clears throat> All right, so it's finishing up here looking great. The next thing I'm going to have to do is to make my 2D line work off of this drawing. So we'll save this. Uh, I can save it to my desktop as AAA, the best rendering name ever. Close that. Um, I'm going to make my 2D line work and to do that I'm going to use what we had talked about before and that's a view script. It's a Rhino script that actually helps me in alignment. So if I click and I had I'd already added my view script in, I'm going to load it up and uh, select the objects I want to make 2D of. I use the view script. I'm going to use hidden lines. We're going to go line and hidden. And just like that, we have two dimensional line work with a bounding box. This is what we had rendered. Uh, so in the next tutorial, we'll look at finishing it off and underlaying the rendering.